Welcome to the Omnic Recap, where every Sunday we look back at what happened during the past week on Overwatch. I'm going to be honest with you guys, it has been a bit of a rough week. See, the last months we've lived in this gorgeous bubble, Overwatch 2 was within our reach. We could almost taste it, or at least the better. The team had us dreaming about new heroes, new maps, an Overwatch League season that was being played on the new game. And then finally, just before the summer, the release. But then this week, this week the bubble just popped. Blizzard told their shareholders during an earnings call that both Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2 were going to be postponed. Again. Well, officially, it's the first time they openly postpone it, but you know what I mean. In just a few minutes, we'll have a look at how this impacts Overwatch and Overwatch 2. And it might not be as bad as we think. It might not. A really big might. Yeah. But first, uh, some other news. PC players might have noticed that new data started downloading on their Battle.net client in the last few days. And that can only mean one thing. A patch is coming. I had this whole segment that I had recorded about what this patch could be. But just as I was almost done with editing this video, Blizzard posted this. So yeah, they did it again. But anyways, it turns out that it is a Cassidy-centric challenge. So we play 27 games and we get ourselves an epic skin. Now, most likely there's also going to be a short story tied into this. The question is, of course, what will it be about? Now, I might be seeing things, but I feel like our cowboy is looking a little older in that final shot. And what they showed of the skin is not really anything Blackwatch or Deadlock inspired. What I'm thinking is that this might actually turn out to be the explanation of what he was up to after he freed Echo out of that container. If you remember that reunion animated short, at the end of that short, he said something about getting the band together, aka Overwatch reassembling, and how they wanted him, but he felt like they needed her. And when she asked him what he was going to do he stated that he had some business to attend to well that short story might be about that business he started a pawn show shop now i don't know it's just a guess a guess as good as any we'll just have to find out next tuesday and it might be kind of disappointing for some people but this is new content and maybe it's going to be that first step towards that overwatch 2 storyline blizzard explaining how we get from overwatch 1 to that trailer moment where a huge omnic is standing in the middle of paris there's a lot of other new stuff that we can hope to see in the next few months now talking about something new during the shareholders earnings call blizzard shared that diablo 4 and overwatch 2 are being postponed mainly because both games need a little more work and because they want to grow their teams for future content in the end that that's not really bad news is it they want to hire more people to be able to push out content quicker once the game is released which they'll need to do if they want to keep up with their competitors they simply cannot go back to that old schedule and they know that i talked in past videos about battle passes expansions all of the possible options that they have but in the end we'll have to wait and see you know i'm not really upset about them pushing back the release of overwatch 2 we all want a good game in the end and if that takes more time sure what i'm upset about is that the current current game is no longer getting meaningful content updates. Sure, there are some really nice skins that we got and there are these balancing changes, but I think we can all agree that it needs more. And I'm not only saying that as a streamer or content creator, I'm saying that as a player that plays that game every single day. I need something new. But anyways, so when is Overwatch 2 coming? Well, this is what they said. Are we still planning to deliver a substantial amount of content from Blizzard next year? We're now planning for a later launch for Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4 than originally envisioned. One interpretation of this statement is that we won't get the game before 2023. We're still going to release a ton of stuff, but it's not going to be Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4, right? And I know that I'm not the only one reading it like this. Everybody kind of read it like this. But then, community manager Andy B, he jumped in and he commented, no release date or beta date was communicated in that earnings call. And that he wanted to squash the rumor of a 2023 release date as being somehow official. Uh okay what does that mean so uh, it's going to be summer after the summer or 
Look, there have been some rumors. These are all kind of fueled by unconfirmed sources. But I wanted to share them with you nonetheless, because they kind of fit in that big puzzle that we have in front of us. People, including myself, were raising questions about the Overwatch League. With this new statement, is the next season still going to be played on Overwatch 2? And several sources kind of confirmed they were. Some of the sources are reliable. But in that whole discussion, some people started talking, stating that they'll actually do an early access release in 2022. It was only be the pvp and free to play while the rest including the pve will be released in 2023 it is kind of out there but if you think about it a lot of other gaming dev companies do it that way release the game in early access so people understand that this is still a work in progress but it gives you the chance to get a lot of feedback and kind of earn some money it is a tool that is being used rather often in the industry so it sounds possible but very on blizzard see blizzard tends to be more old school in the way they release games they do an alpha they do a beta and then they kind of ramp up to the release so i wouldn't count on it but if it was to happen it would be kind of cool i guess we'll have to see now if that doesn't happen another year of those same events no new heroes no new maps it is something that is upsetting a lot of the players including myself so there is one particular demand that is getting a lot of traction out there release sojourn to overwatch one i did a poll over on instagram asking people if they wanted to see sojourn in the current game and a whooping 86 percent of the thousands of votes i got said yes it just shows you how hungry this community is for some new content. And Blizzard should take that into account, should listen to that. The thing is, I talked about this before, all of the Surgeon art and all of the programming has been done in that upgraded version of the engine. Porting it back to the current engine might be a little too much work. And on top of that, they would have to do a lot of rebalancing just to fit in that new hero. Because adding a new character in Overwatch is not an isolated event. Her skill set will impact other characters. That being said, that it is not impossible but very very unlikely that seems to be a phrase that i've been saying a lot in this video i guess we're all kind of in a pessimistic mode let's just look forward to that upcoming event but for now my friends that was it thank you very much for watching see you in my stream or in my next video till then bye bye